Welcome back. Did you have news for me, or are you just here for the guns? Yep, delivered the package. And? Don't leave me in suspense. What was their reaction? You said you'd hear from them soon. Good. Good. Here's your payment. If you'll excuse me, I have some thinking to do. Oh. Jean-Baptiste was talking about a matter earlier that he needs help with. I volunteered you. See him for the details. Ah, just the person I was looking for. Your name came up in a discussion we had recently. My sister is very impressed with you so far, but I'm not. I don't think you have what it takes to work for this family. Luckily for you, I'm going to give you a chance to prove me wrong. What do you say? Want to make some real money? Sure, what do I need to do? No, no, no. That's not how it works. You don't get to weigh the options. Okay. You're either in or you're out. Yeah, okay. All right, then. If we're going to work together, there's only one thing you need to know about me. I like things simple. Recently, Glory negotiated a deal between us and a big-time player. We're talking more caps than you'd probably see in a lifetime. Your part in this is simple. To finalize this deal, I need to tie up a loose end. To do that, there's a girl I need you to find. Her name is Rose of Sharon Cassidy. That's some fancy shit, right? Don't know what her mother was thinking with a name like that. But this girl and I, we need to have a discussion. Find her. Bring her here so I can talk to her one-on-one. -on -one. All right, I'll do it. Find her. Bring her back here so we can talk. Needless to say, there's some good money in it for you. I'm sure there is. Hmm, that's kind of odd. All of the, um... All the plasma grenades and plasma mines are gone. Hmm, I wonder where those could have went. Looking for trouble? Well, keep those eyes up and turning, or I'll set them spinning. Got no time for gawkers, or anyone looking for something I ain't selling. All right? No, I'm not all right. Drinking to forget, and it's only getting me mad instead. Whiskey always gets my temper up now more than ever. Drinking used to cause all sorts of trouble back west. Before I punched enough people, that is. And they learned to lay low when the whiskey hit. Uh huh. Lost my caravan heading north. The driver burned to ash. And they didn't even take the cargo. They just burned that too. Might have been fiends. My guess is Legion. They're trying to cut NCR supply line. And the Mojave outpost is proof. Got us locked up tighter than a New Vegas virgin. No caravans in, out, and just try arguing with Jackson about it. Roads aren't safe, he says. No shit, you washed out old fuck up. I didn't need a Brotherhood scribe to tell me that. Yeah, he's been with NCR so long, all he can see is the worst outcome of everything. So he doesn't do anything. Jackson won't let me head north. It's not safe. And even though my caravan's gone, my caravan papers are keeping me here. So if you came here for work, my advice? Go find the Crimson Caravan Branch south of Vegas. They can help you out. I mean, I already cleared the roads. No shit. Drinks on me, then. Still, not like I'm going anywhere. Caravan title's still keeping me here, even though it's dead and gone. Okay, I'll be going. You take care now. Wish I had a first recon guy looking after me. So I need to go where? Crimson Caravan, I think? That's where she said, right? Yeah. Did you know this drip's all stirred up lately? Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas Branch. What may I do for you? 
Uh, I know this is a bit of a weird time to be asking, but uh, I, I'm looking for work. I'm afraid we have no current openings for caravanners or guards, but I am in need of a runner. Uh, sure. Deliver this invoice to Dr. Hildern. You can find him somewhere inside Camp McCarran. Okay. It's been a pleasure. I'm sure it has. You know, I should really go visit, uh, what is it, Red Rock Canyon? I should really go there. Did Dr. Hildern, this really isn't any of my business, but did he give you a job? Bit of a weird question to ask, considering I'm... Uh, yeah, why? Not interested. More concerned. It's just... You're not the first person he sent to Vault 22, and I know he'd never tell you. There were a lot of mercs, one after another. None of them came back. Then, about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect, but she's an absolute genius, and... And he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? Not really, no. But it doesn't matter, I'm built different. But now he's hired you. Which means one of two things. Either he heard back from Keeley, and she failed, or he's given up on her. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. That's all I ask. She might even be able to help you. As long as you don't speak too well of Dr. Hildern. Uh -huh. Right, good luck. Because it can't forlorn hope. How we got Yes? Something else you needed? Yeah, I have an invoice here. From Alice. I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else? Or were you just here about the invoice? No, that was it. Yes, goodbye. Had a chance to hold it. House is dead. This time for good. Welcome back. I delivered that thing. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? Uh, sure. As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. There's a small trading outfit, Cassidy Caravans, that I'm interested in acquiring. Oh, really? They've been rather competitive, so it's time to buy them out. I have it on good authority that the owner, Cass, wants out of the caravan business. Cass frequently trades with the NCR, so you'll likely find her at the Mojave Outpost. The quality of the Gunrunner's armaments is due to their manufacturing process. They craft all weapons on site. I want to know the secrets of their manufacturing process, which means you'll need to find some way to get inside their heavily guarded factory. I would greatly prefer that you perform this job undetected and without killing anyone, if it can be helped. The Jamesons are very wealthy ranchers back in Redding, California, and significant investors in the Crimson Caravan Company. I was pressured into posting young Henry as the manager of the New Vegas branch. As you can see, he wasn't exactly cut out for the job. He was much more interested in gambling and prostitutes. And because of his family, I can't simply fire him. Henry needs to be convinced to quit, one way or another. 
I won't have a useless employee on the company payroll. Got it. Thank you. Was there something else? Nah, that's that's good. It's been a pleasure. Okay, so do I have any stealth boys on me? Six. That should be enough, question mark. Where the fuck are you guys going? Need a lockpick skill of 50. God damn it. Oh, hey, hey, hey. What, is no one here? With house out of the way, I hope someone opens the lucky 38. Shove off, you're making my luck turn bad. I don't know how, I have nine luck. Anyways, um... I'm here to talk about ending your employment with the Crimson Caravan Company. Fuck no. No matter what that old bitch McLafferty says, my dad said I could be in charge of the New Vegas branch. Besides, I got into a little money trouble with the Omertas. If I quit the Crimson Caravan, how am I supposed to get the money to gamble? I want my debt with the Omertas paid off. And I want one of those severance package things. A big one. You do that. And tell the old bitch to pay up quick, you hear? I've got a problem, I see. I can't have that kind of problem. I'm banned from most casinos. You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? They want to buy Cassidy caravans? Don't they know it's burned to ash? No. Even times being what they are. Not sure I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. If someone came up to you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? Maybe. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to hear your answer anyway. Point is, I made the caravan what it is. It's mine. Alice McLafferty, eh? No, I see the zeros, and I know she's good for them. Still, it's not about the money. Dad'd spin like a twister if he ever heard I sold our name for anything. Look, I know you came all this way, and that takes some drive, especially these days. Just doesn't feel right, trading history for a slip of paper. What's on your If you're Hmm. That's a problem. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that speech requirement. Good shit locking literally everything behind a uh... Whatever. I love hitting roadblocks like this, man. It's it just it annoys me. It really does. First recons at Camp Forlorn Hope. Now we've got a chance to hold it. So how far am I from leveling up? Uh 
about that much. Right, what quests can I finish really quick? Nothing. Great. Let's see if I can do the other thing, I guess. You come around like a bad habit. Jean Baptiste. Sounds like someone got knocked out of the good book so hard his name broke. Either that, or it's Canadarian or some such shit. So who is this Baptiste, and what does he want? The only Van Graffs I know are the ones out west. Well, except for Gloria Van Graff, and I don't know her all that well. Nor do I want to. Don't have any objection speaking with him. Though if he's with the Van Graffs, he should know I'm not looking to buy weapons. What? Sounds like it's going to be an all-out war with the Legion soon. If that's what you think. I'll make my way there. Mm. You come around like a bad habit. Not leaving here until my caravan vapor's clear. Or my title goes away. If you were looking for someone to caravan with, I'd try the Crimson Caravan up... Throw in the <sighs> Fucking shit, man. Welcome back. Yes, but at significant cost. I understand you not only agreed that the company pay off his gambling debts. I'm disappointed with this outcome, but what's done is done. At least we're rid of Henry. I hear it's business as usual at the Gunrunners, as if nothing unusual happened. Excellent work. We'll be able to use the schematics you acquired to begin manufacturing our own weapons immediately. We'll provide some to you at a discount. Of course. Which one? There's a small... It's been a pleasure. Like, what am I supposed to do about that? Just, like, fucking wait? That's such a fucking bullshit thing. Like, the lowest one is 50, and I really don't think, no matter the amount of boosting that I do, I'm gonna be able to hit that because of the what I'm at with that. Oh, man. Fucking garbage, dude. Guess I have to do something else because I can't fucking finish this right now. I guess I can go to Red Rock Canyon. Let's hope the fucking Cazadors don't decide to fuck me up. It's not like I have any other options right now. I mean, I suppose I could do the boomer quest line, maybe. I can't remember if that's fucking skill locked. I mean, at least in the outer worlds, I can like brute force my way through pretty much anything if I wanted to. I mean, at the rate I'm getting XP, I might as well just take some fucking pot shots at death claws or something until one of them dies. Hey, welcome to Red Rock Canyon. Since you've done so much for the great cons, Papa Khan told me to let you know you can buy weapons at our armory. You can find it in the basement of the burned out building at the mouth of the canyon. All right. Hey, 
Hey, buddy, where are you going? Don't you know I need to kill you for experience? That dude's just fucking gone, apparently. All right. Seventy six XP for killing that bird. God damn. Okay, well, I have to do this. As many points. Ah, exactly 50. How nice. Wouldn't it be funny if the speech thing ended up getting raised after this for finishing that bit? I will be fucking livid. You come around like a bad habit. Look, I know you came all this way. Just doesn't feel right. That... That's a good point. It's the caravan clearance that's got me stuck here. I'm sure this bar's getting tired of propping me up. Give me that paper. I'll put my name to it. No sense trying to hold the past between your fingers when it's nothing but dirt. All right. There you go. Caravan's yours. Feel kind of relieved, actually. Guess I didn't realize how much I was carrying around with just the name. No idea. Maybe head back west? Though the idea of heading back there with my tail between my legs isn't appealing. Go with you? And why the hell would I do that? So you're looking for someone to help, not just tag along. Huh. Walking the Mojave with you can't be any worse than here, that's for sure. All right. I'm in. Uh-huh. That is definitely why I'm bringing you along. Definitely why I'm bringing you along. I want to turn this quest in first. Did you know this drip's all stirred up lately? Welcome back. Very good. On occasion, it's proven to be more profitable in the long run to simply buy out the competition. And this is one of those occasions. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, 500 caps. Something has actually come up. A prospector recently came through here and spent a lot of caps on supplies. Closer inspection of these caps has revealed them to be brand new. This is a problem. The most likely source of these new caps is the old Sarsaparilla bottling plant. Go there, locate the bottle cap press, and disable it. Okay. It's been a pleasure. Wow, I'm liked by the NCR. I'm sure that won't um, become problematic later. Hey, Jean-Baptiste, you'll never guess who I brought with me. As I live and breathe, Rose of Sharon Cassidy, the late Rose of Sharon Cassidy, was hoping you were on that caravan I massacred. But Crimson Caravan and Van Graffs won't need to worry about you anymore. Wahhabi's ours, and we're shutting you down for good. Waited too long to finish this. Last loose end, all wrapped up. Hi, I'm John Baptiste, and you're about to stop being a pain in my ass. Cass has died. Oh, how unfortunate. Oh, that was fun. Did you see the look on that bitch's face? Priceless. No, I really couldn't anyway, from here, but okay. I've been antsy lately because that big deal she's been working on is finally going down. If this thing goes down, we'll have it made. Fucking made, I tell you. 
Talk to her about it. I'm sure she'll want you along. And don't think I forgot your pay. A job well done is its own reward. But it doesn't pay for pussy at the local brothel, does it? Oh no, how could you, how could you get, how could you get Cass killed? She's the best companion in the game. That's not Raul. Good, you're here. Do you remember that package I had you deliver? A little bit. Well, the client liked the sample and put in a massive order. It's possibly the biggest order we've ever supplied. I've had to repeatedly assure my mother that everything will go smoothly. And that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. We'll be bringing an escort, and I want you on it. What do you say? Sure. Perfect. We're still getting everything together, but I can always find a use for idle hands in the meantime. Once we're settled, we'll head out to the rendezvous point. They're taking an awfully long time inspecting the weapons. I'm beginning to think they're doing it just to unnerve us. Might be. Don't let them rattle you, though. The deal's almost done. There's just one last piece of business left. Is there? Speaking of which, I need you to listen to me very carefully. Things are about to get a little crazy. When I give the signal, follow my lead, okay? Uh, sure. That's what I like about you. You follow orders, for the most part. Just remember to wait for the signal. Say that a bit louder so that they can hear it. I trust you find everything acceptable? Everything seems to be in order. Kaisar will not soon forget this. No, I imagine he won't. It's a trap. Fall back. The commander is Come down. On. Kill the rest. Sorry, I have to uh, clear my inventory because you gave me combat armor. You know, I'm not going to kill anybody. How about that? I think it'd be bad for... Because I think you get, like, negative legion points if you do this, right? If you, like, kill people. So I'll just let them handle it. Eddie, why are you, um, doing that? Good for you, I guess. So, is that every corpse? I think it is. Oh, there's a... There's a bunch of wine in here. Holy shit. Never noticed that before. There's just like a bunch of wine. Anyways, that was cool, I guess. Good job. I need to work out some last-minute details with our new clients, but after that, we'll head back to the rush. I suppose you have a few questions. Oh, not really. J just, you know, start at the beginning, I guess. Caesar has been making overtures to prominent suppliers for some time now. Usually, they're too scared of him to cross him and just pay or flee. I saw an opportunity and negotiated a deal with the NCR. I helped draw some of their enemy's troops into a trap, and they agreed to buy from me. Normally, those stuck-up bastards wouldn't have anything to do with us, but their situation is precarious, and this chance was too tempting. It'll be all I can do to supply the NCR with the amount of weapons they want, so I'll be pretty busy for the foreseeable future. Oh, you're probably wondering if you still have a job. I don't have anything open at the moment, sadly. But we're going to need all the help we can get transporting guns to the NCR. So stop by every now and then, and I might have a delivery job for you. And before I forget, here's your share of the take from the warehouse job. You can keep the armor. Thanks again for all your help. Mm hmm A thousand bottle caps on top of my uh, 46,000 that I already had. Okay. 